think I think Mid Ohio really has a way to throw up some drama. Uh, there's never a break in Mid Ohio. It's fast. Um, it's relentless. It's uh, it's got some amazing flow. It's flow to it. Um, the corners, a lot of blind corners, a lot of contours in the landscape. Um, it's really really technical, um, and it's probably you know I would say the most physical place that we drive because um, it's pretty high grip. So, uh, you know, it makes for an interesting day. Yeah, I mean, Mid-Ohio, it's, uh, it's an exciting track. Um, it's a relatively short lap, but it's certainly uh, action-packed. Um, it's very twisty. Um, it's got some fast corners. Uh, but the biggest thing is it's got a lot of undulations, up and down, uh, crests, uh, blind brows. Um, that's something that a lot of circuits don't have. So it makes it uh, interesting to drive and certainly a great challenge. We've been quick with the Lolas um, historically over at, at Mid Ohio, and um, you know it's uh, it's a track that I think plays to the car's strengths. You know, it's got a lot of uh, medium and high speed corners, and uh, this, the, their cars generally excel there. And uh, I think, you know, from our standpoint, um, you know, we're learning every weekend. It's um, you know our first year on the working with the Dunlop tires, so uh, you know every weekend is throwing up some surprises, uh, but you've just got to adjust to it and uh, and go with it. Um, you know, the car's been quick everywhere we've been pretty much this year. Um, we're just we're just going to try to fight for race wins now. The Mazda was was very fast there last year with the uh, with the BK team, so we know the car works well there, and also with the Dunlop tyres. So we're excited that you know we feel we've got a package we can go there and challenge for the win, um, and that's certainly what uh, we'll be trying to do. My favorite race that we did there was probably the 05 race um, because uh, we were uh, racing kind of our two cars were, you know, first and second throughout. We ended up with a 1-2, but the race was pretty wild. Um, you know, you had guys, uh, you know, you had, I think back then you had the two champion Audis. I think they brought the Zytec over, so you had uh, Hainori Shimoda. And that thing, you know, we actually made a mistake and underfueled one of the cars, but that made the car light at the beginning, and it completely confused him. And it was just like we boxed him, Butch and I boxed him in, and it was like, a, like being in an alleyway with a guy. And uh, just for like 25 laps, it was just back and forth the whole way. And uh, obviously we ended up with the one too, so it was a good day. Dad, Dad ended up with a bottle of champagne emptied on his head, so any day like ends like that is a good one. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, funnily enough, it's not been a, a great circuit for me in terms of success, but I mean, I had some good races there. I think in, uh, in 2007, um, we had a great race there. We were running uh, third. Um, but we were, we were unfortunately we were hit with a penalty late on in the race, so I mean, that was frustrating. But uh, certainly, we'd like to go back there and uh, and have a strong showing. And I feel that with the package that we've got, we can certainly do that. Okay, so we're exiting the carousel and we start a lap of the Mid Ohio circuit on the short front straight, past the pits there on the left hand side, uh, short break. Uh, back on the throttle, fifth gear, probably about 140 miles an hour, running out to the edge of the road there, bringing the car back over to the left-hand side. We start to break uphill for the uh, long uh, turn two here. Getting the car to the inside, it's very, very slippery through here, trying to put the power down. We get on the power as early as we can. We've got a long back straight here, so it's crucial to get a good exit out of there. Uh, the circuit, although it's a straight, it kinks slightly to the right here, but one of the key passing places for the mid or higher circuit. So it's crucial to get a good run down here. We come over the crest of the hill, breaking down from six, down to third gear, in tight to the curb, using a little bit of curb. Round over to the left hand side, again just up to the curb, the circuit goes over a brow, the car drops away, back to the left, in tight to the right, now third gear, short shift up into fourth as we go around here through the left hander, up to fifth, the car goes light, a slight dab on the brake now, down to fourth gear, this is a ski jump, so we get on the power, the car goes over the top of the hill, up into fifth gear, up into sixth, and we approach the very, very fast left hander here, down into fifth, up to the curb, onto the power now, Breaking over the crest, car goes very light and uh, into the carousel here. Accelerating again, hard on the power, and uh, we complete a lap of the Mid-Ohio circuit, and we hope that was going to be a fast lap.